All right, when I give you an equation, or I give you three points, and I say I want the equation of a parabola. That's all I give you. I don't say one is a vertex. I don't, I don't give you much. There's a bunch of different ways you can do it. One of the ways is using a matrix. So I would start with standard form here, ax squared plus bx plus c, and I would plug in my xy, so 3, negative 6, and get the first equation. Then I would plug in x is 1, y is negative 2, get my second equation, x is 6, y is 3, to get my third equation. None of this cancels out, so I'm kind of like stuck. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to make a matrix. So I line up my A coefficients, my B coefficients, my C coefficients, and my numbers. Yet you want it in this order just for consistency. It will make it easiest if it's in this order so we don't screw anything up. To do that on your calculator, you go second, x to the negative 1, go over to edit. We want a 3 by 4, so we're good. And we put all those numbers in 9, 3, 1, negative 6. Next row, 1, 1, 1, negative 2. Last row, 36, 6, 1, 3. All right. So we've got that. We're good to go. Now, all I've done is put numbers into a matrix. So I have to tell it to do math now. So I'm going to go back to that second x to the negative 1 matrix menu. Go over to math. Ref. R-R-E-F. Reduce row echelon form. That's what we want. Option B. I'm going to hit enter. Now, if I hit enter now, it's going to give me an error because I haven't told it what to do that to. So now I need to go back to second matrix. And I want to use the name of the matrix I have, the name of matrix A. So enter and hit enter one more time. It gives me 1, 1, 1 down the diagonal. That's perfect. That means that this is a solution. This was my A column. So A would equal 1. This was my B column. So B would equal negative 6. This was my C column. So C would equal 3. So plugging that back into my equation, I would have... 1x squared minus 6x plus 3, that would be the solution to this problem.